Today, I want to talk about intonation, what it is, why it's important, how to check it, and how to fix it. This is going to be a short video, super easy. Here we go. So first off, what is intonation? Intonation is describing if your bass is in tune with itself. So if your intonation is off, that means you might play an open string and you'd be in tune, but then if you fretted a note on the same string, you'd be out of tune, which is not good. The goal is that no matter where you are on the neck, whatever note you play, it's going to sound in tune. Right? So it's important because if it's off, you're going to sound bad. And uh, even if you're playing everything right, you're going to sound out of tune. That's not fair. So it's, it's super easy to check, and I'm going to show you how to check it now. So all you need is a tuner. So you're going to plug your tuner in and all that business. You're going to play an open string and get it in tune. So I'm going to play this open, this open E here, and we are in tune with our open E. But then I'm going to now play the 12th fret, which is also an E. And if, if the 12th fret is in tune, then we know that the E string has proper intonation. And if it's off, then we need to fix it. So, so we got a good, nice in tune open E. Now I'm gonna fret this 12th fret. Our 12th fret is saying it's sharp, which means that this bass needs some love. And it's super easy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to adjust it. If we're reading sharp, so if we're in tune on an open string, but then we're reading sharp on our 12th fret, then that means the string is too short. We need to make our string longer, right? Because if it's in tune, that means our 12th fret is the halfway point between the bridge and the nut, okay? So if, if our 12th fret is reading off, that means that 12th fret is not the halfway point of the string, which means we need to adjust the length of the string ever so slightly to make sure that that 12th fret is the center point. And it's super easy. All we're doing is we're adjusting these saddles. So uh, the saddles down here are where the string is, is resting. You can see these barrel looking things. We're just gonna move these left or right or forward and backwards by adjusting the screws here. Sometimes it's screws, might be a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, this one has got an Allen wrench and I found that it's 7 64ths. And what I wanna do is I wanna make the string longer, right? Because we were sharp. So that means I wanna make the saddle go this way, right? To create a center point on our 12th fret. So all I'm gonna do is rotate this ever so slightly, and I'm, I'm going, uh, if you were looking at it, I'm going, if I'm looking at it, I'm going clockwise to make the string longer. So now we're in tune on our E string, and it's better, but it's not quite there. So we made a difference. We need to make more of a difference. So now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go another, I'm, I'm doing like a, a full rotation on these adjustments. So that's another full rotation, making the saddle further away. So let's, and I'm gonna retune again. We're in tune there. And then now we're in tune there. So now, hypothetically, every note is gonna be... Yeah. Now it's reading green no matter where I'm playing a note, whether it's open or whether it's fretted. So super easy. You just do that for each string. You move the saddles back and forth until you're in tune on the 12th fret or an open, open E, open string. And, and here's the trick. If you're sharp, the string's too short, so you need to make the string longer. If it's flat, then the string is too long. You need to make the string shorter. And you adjust it by rotating. And what we're doing is we're moving the center point of the string until the center point of the string is exactly on the 12th fret, and that's it. If you wanna learn more about bass stuff, I have a bunch more bass stuff on my channel. I also have a bass course, the link's in the description. So I try to do a new video every Wednesday, so if this was helpful, please consider subscribing, and if not, that's okay too. I'll see you next week.